Hey everybody, it's Eric Weinstein of Live Balloons Party Entertainment. Here we are, 25 days into 25 designs on YouTube, and I feel I feel a hole in my heart tonight. Because I said to you before that on the 25th design, I'm going big. I didn't mean to let everybody down, but we're not going big tonight. Because we're going super small tonight. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not holding a tiger or a lion or a pit bull. This is a lovable little 11 pound chihuahua. And next to it, I have a little matching four balloon chihuahua. And right, you know, I believe that the dog and the monkey are the top two requests, but if one had the edge out to the other, what do the kids ask for? A dog, and the fact that this one kind of, you know, Chihuahua's having a reputation for being kind of aggressive and nasty. We're not even going to talk about it on camera, okay? The elephant in the room. B back to what I was saying. You know, have a little, you know, they're known for having a little attitude. So, I think he's got a little attitude too. You see, like, you know, you see how, like, the little ears go up and where I made the eyes at. So, he kind of looks like he's peering at you. Like, any second, he's going to take your ankles out. So... I really like this design. I think it's a cute one, so I apologize for not going big, but we gotta go small. So let me get this straight. Only two of us live here. I know where I poop. Are you saying it wasn't you? That's just what I'm gonna clarify. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. So, to make this adorable little chihuahua, all you need is Mocha Brown 260, a white 260, a black 260, and one mocha brown 160. I believe we can get this in just four balloons, but I don't know. It could be a fifth. I do not know. So here's what we're going to do. First, take the black 260, put a puff of air into it. This is going to be the nose. So I just take the air and I hold it and I push. I squeeze, I put my hand behind it, push. See that? Push. Push. You get it all the way to the top. I can push, let, let my, open my fingers, let a little air out to the size I like. When I like it, twist it off and just tie a knot. And then make sure you pull that down there so it gets, the knot is right there up against it. See that? Right there up against it. So now we're going to go down maybe three fingers and we're going to tie off a knot. All right, because we are tulip twisting the nose, so we're actually going to have to insert this to get the, you know, the nose to go in like that. So, we can just take some scissors. I don't mean to be a savage, but... <coughs> Sorry. I don't mean to be savage, but I had to get that rid of that. I don't got scissors. So, take the brown, mocha brown 250. Inflate, inflate, leaving, I would say, an eight-finger tail. Let's do this. Take that little knot with your finger. You're going to place it right up against the nozzle piece here. And you're going to insert your finger all the way in there. So look, I can kind of like see how I see it right there. So I'm going to go back. I can go back a little bit farther. See, I don't want to grab it right here because I have a shorter nose. So I'm going to go back a little farther past where it is. I'm going to push it towards my finger. See that? I'm pushing it towards. I grab it and my finger will come out. And we just twist. There it is. All right. So now we're going to go down about, I would say, maybe three, four fingers. We're going to make two, I would say, two finger pinch twists. This is going to be the back of the head. All right. So that's what we have so far. So now take the Mocha Brown 160. Oh my God, I got lightheaded from that. Tie it off. I would say leave about a four or five finger tail because this we're gonna do some twists. So I'm gonna to try to get the, if I can get the ears and the body out of this, it'll be a four balloon chihuahua. So I squeeze it just a smidgen. I'm gonna make a loop. I would say about, that'll be four, eight, maybe 12, 13 fingers. Twist it off, take that nozzle piece in the center. Bring it through, 
Repeat again on the opposite side. Okay, I'm gonna make a tiny pinch twist just in case I don't want anything to come undone. I'm gonna show you how to attach it once, but let's just take that off, tie it, because we're gonna use this for the body. All right, so now, I take the ears, I place them right here, right? Underneath that bubble. And now I'm gonna make about a, another four finger bubble. I'm gonna bring it back and make a bubble, twist off a bubble, bring it back and lock it into the front bubble. So see that? I gotta, all I did was come down from the nose, I'm twisting it off, made a bubble, two pinch twists, a bubble going back towards the front. And so now look at his head structure. The top of his head has two bubbles. The bottom has three bubbles, and you want them all to be the same size. You don't want to make that middle bottom one bigger. It'll make them look a little off. So now I'm going to make the second bubble for the top of the head. See that? So I'm just going to line it up next to the other one, measure it off, and twist it in. So now, okay, see that? That's what I have so far. So now I'm going to take it back from the two pinch twists and make another bubble. This is the bottom of his muzzle, the jaw, and lock it right in the front here. So I make a bubble, all same size. All right, see that? And then I'm going to do one more. I make sure it's small. And I'm going to lock it back into the pinch twist at the back of the head. Now, let me just straighten the front piece up so I can bend that nose a little seat. It'll make it go forward more. I'm going to move the ears back. I push the ears back. So you just adjust the bottom. Like you can pull in the pieces. Like make sure it's even down there like it's flat. And then I make sure the head bubbles are straight by moving them side to side. And then I just got his ears, his little scrappy little chihuahua ears going up. And that's it. So now you can make the body. So I'm just gonna go down about two fingers. Gonna make two pinch twists. I would say about a, maybe two, uh, a finger and a half, two fingers. Just like that. Push the body outwards on the pinch twists. And guess what? Gonna do it in four balloons. Excellent. So all I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna attach the body. If you look at the body, all it is is I just make a little triangle pattern with the 160. See, that's all I gotta do is get this head and those four legs, and guess what? We're in the territory of two balloons. I mean, four balloons. <coughs> so go around about however big you wanna make the tail. All right, pinch twist it off twice, and now we might need prayer to make this in four balloons. So, if I Twist it off, twist off a bubble as big as you want to make his little body. I lock it into those pinch twists. And now I can, oh, discard that big piece. All right. Now I'm going to make the triangle patterns. I want to go small on the legs because I hardly have any, you know, I hardly have any balloon left. So I want to go a little small on the legs, but I think it's going to work. See that? So I just made a triangle pattern. Boop, boop. Now repeat going the other way. And I actually might be able to get a better looking tail out of this. Because, see I interlock when I go, you know, when I go down, make the bubble, I kind of interlock it, see? Push that through the center. I'm gonna go back up to the pinch twist, right where his little buttocks is. And then there you go. You line the pinch twist up. You can have him, you know, put the pinch twist up a little, have his head coming forward, pick a tail. Should we go long tail? Yeah, let's go long tail. I mean, my guy don't really have a long tail, but that's all right. <coughs> Let me just make my adjustments, hide all the nozzles. Once you had the body together, so you have your tail, and you have the legs on. The ears, you can kind of play with and push up and squeeze and bend them to get them up as best as you can. You can use the bubbles on the side to kind of help push them out. Now, for the eyes, Take a white 260, inflate, you don't need even that much at all. So, we're gonna do the eyes. So, the eyes are the only tricky part. It's getting them 
into that tiny little, I can't even see it, so it's, look at it, right there, I can't even, oh, there I can. All right, so we have to go into this hole directly with a pinch twist with a bubble in the center. Make sure this first pinch twist is good, because we're getting crazy. So watch this. I would say make a two finger bubble, bring that pinch twist down, and squeeze, 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 not squeeze, I can't always say squeeze. Twist, 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 twist. Now, look at how big the head is, and you're an eyeball, so I would say, I would make a finger length bubble, like about a finger, yeah, about a finger and a half length, and another pinch twist that same size as the other one. When you got it nice and tight, you can break it off. See that? So we're just gonna kind of, I can use my thumb, I put my thumb on the other side. And that's why maybe that gets, when you're practicing with it, do soft bubbles, top and bottom, softer bubbles would be easier. But I'm like literally just sliding it, see that I'm sliding it through. Once I get it in there, what, at least I get, once I get it close to the other side, once it's in there, now I can just play with it. Once you, you just gotta get it in there. Oh, the ears came off, terrible. Here you go. His ear pops. I apologize. I'm gonna to have to do real time in brown, in a different color because I can't believe I'm out of on the last design, day number 25, on a Chihuahua. I ran out of mocha brown. So let me see if I can get this put up. <laughs> Only can only. All right. I'm just gonna just attach it just to have an ear there, so you get the idea. Because I'm just gonna do it in a different color for real time. So at least the ear is somewhat showing. Well, look, see how I got that in there? Once you pushed it in there, see? That your middle bubble is gonna go directly behind this. So once you just got it in a little bit, you can finagle it and see how these pieces come like right under the eyes and the eyes stick out. 